subscribe, comment, and like in the description box below. Happy Friday, you guys. Um, I have not vlogged all day, and it's pretty much towards the end of the day. I want to say it's about mm, 2, 3-ish, maybe, maybe even later than that. Girl, it's 5 o'clock. <laughs> Where has the day gone? Um, I just got back from a couple of stores. I went to Ross, I went to Old Navy, and Target as well. And I got a couple of things, so I want to share those things with you on top of a package I just got. And to state the obvious, because obviously I started off today's vlog without even mentioning it, but if you guys can't tell, uh, your girl cut her hair. Well, actually my sister cut it for me, so I really like it that it's really short. Um, it's curly right now, which you guys rarely ever, ever, ever see my hair curly, but this is it in its curly state. It is going to be straightened, but I want to share with you guys the products that I use to straighten my hair because chef's kiss. Uh, ever since I had my hair done like with these highlights and whatnot, which I do need to get touched up as well, by the way, because a lot of new growth ever since. Um, but ever since I went to the salon and got my hair done, you guys, the products they used, bomb okay so i've been using those things ever since to straighten my hair and it's been the best thing for me and i ran low so i want to show you guys what i got and then i'm going to be doing some photos for my twin sister for what she needs them for i won't say on here unless she gives me permission but um yeah i'm gonna be taking some photos for her so let's get this little mini haul out the way and then I can take her photos and I have no idea what I'm going to do after that because truthfully, I'm really, really exhausted. I don't know why I'm so tired, but I'm so tired. I mean, I know why, but ugh. So, where are my bags? Over there. Okay, so I'm going to figure out a way to set you guys up real quick um, and then we can show you guys what I got. Alright, so... I'm gonna start with the stuff from Ross because that's what I got the most of. This I think is so freaking cute. I cannot wait to style it, but the plans I have for this top, you guys, it might look a little crazy. Everybody not might might not be into this, but I think it is gorgeous and just cannot wait to style this piece. So I have that to start. And then I have this gold brown, kind of like neutral toned cardigan situation. It has like some gold detailing on it, on the pockets, which I think is super cute. So just like two little gold buttons, if you will. These pockets are faux pockets, unfortunately, um, but I think it's super cute. So I have that. And then I also got this dress it's like um i would call this like a boyfriend shirt type dress ish i don't know what you would call it but this is the ralph lauren polo dress shirt so it's a dress but it's in the like form of like a button down if you will but it doesn't button down or does it actually it does button down mid midway but i think it's super cute so that's kind of nice because it's getting warmer out so that was ross i didn't do too much but i did a little something so i'm not going to actually show you guys target because all i got was underwear <laughs> so i got five for twenty dollars from old navy i just got one pair of slacks these I think they're cute size zero of course and they're straight leg which I like and one thing that's a must for me when it comes to pants is the pockets at the back whether it's a faux pocket a real pocket just as long as it looks like a pocket I'm down for it so that's all the clothes that I got and then my package open this up what 
So I have this. This is what I'm used to using. This is the Rusk Deep Shine Luster Shine Enhancing Cream. This whole time I thought this was uh, heat protectant, but it's not. But she used this with in my hair with this KMS Thermo Therma Shape. This is the Quick Blow Dry Spray. So what I do is I put this in my hair after I wash it, then I blow dry it, and then I spray this before straightening it. And this duo, mm, bomb. But I picked, since I realized that this wasn't a heat protectant, it's just basically a cream, I picked this one up from Rusk as well. This is the Lusterizer Brightening Boost for Platinum, Silver, Gray, White, and Blonde Hair. Because, of course, I have blonde in my hair and I plan to go a little bit more blonde, so... I got this one as well so this is this one and this is the one I normally use which is this one I have gone empty on this bottle and I was actually thinking about cutting the top of this off and scooping out the rest of the product before I throw it out so I can make sure I get every last drop okay be ready <laughs> all right you guys so I am going to wash this mask out i actually put in this mask down here let me grab it for you guys so i can show you guys what i used earlier i was basically using it as a, like my styler and to you know put a deep conditioning mask in my hair even though technically i didn't do it the right way but um this is the shea moisture raw shea butter deep treatment mask has sea kelp and argan oil so it's for a dry damaged hair which is great because that's what i did have she cut off you know obviously a lot of the dead ends and things like that so definitely a lot shorter but when i straighten it it'll it'll be a little bit longer than this but i'm loving this cut i have to say um i even like my hair a little curly with it like this like it's not too bad but as everyone knows i don't wear my hair curly too often and i'm not really trying to not straighten not straighten it wow there we go um so i'm gonna wash this out now because this is all i have in there and then you guys will get to see me use those new products that i repurchased in my hair to straighten it um i am going to use this which is the original one like i said but I'm also going to use a little bit of this one as well just because again I do have those blonde pieces and I kind of want to see the vibe of that one. So let me wash this out first and then I will blow dry my hair um, and then we can talk about next steps. But I'm going to wash this out first because it's about that time. But this is like the cut. This is what it looks like. You know my hair curly. It's pretty short and I really do like it so this is my hair nice and washed out it's nice and smooth i can run my fingers through it. it smells good so now that it's like that now i opened this product with scissors and you guys look how much product is still in here this is what i mean you guys gotta start like breaking your products open and stuff because sis that's a lot of product okay that i was about to go in the trash because nothing else wanted to squeeze out so I'm literally just taking that on my hands and I'm just going to start rubbing it through my hair and just making sure I'm coating all of my hair as much as I can with this product and this is before I blow dry it this is the only thing I'm gonna put in my hair aside from trying the new the other one so I'm just putting a little bit of this one but I'm also going to put the other one as well. But you basically just really want to make sure that everything's nice and coated. Again, this is not a heat protectant, which I thought it was. Um, but I've been doing my hair like this, so I'm just going to continue. And this is what the um, salon stylist did for my hair when she dyed it to begin with. So just following her steps. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this one. So this one has like a purple tint to it. As is anything that's meant for <clears throat> anything that's meant for blonde hair. Uh, like purple shampoo and stuff like that. Has a different smell to it. it smells good though. And I'm just going to 
rake this one through my hair as well. Just mainly focusing it on the lower half of my hair because that's where the blonde pieces are. Then I'm going to take my comb. This is like a wide tooth comb that I'm just going to use just to run it through my hair. Make sure I'm coating every strand with all of these products before I go in with the blow dryer and just blow everything out. Oh, my camera's dying, you guys. You may not be able to see this whole process, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. You know, I'm just literally just using my blow dryer with like a comb attachment just to help blow dry it a lot quicker. Get it pre-straightened, that way when I go in with the actual straightener, I'm not using too much heat to like really straighten it out. I'm just, you know, because it'll already be semi-straight from blow drying it with the comb. And once I'm done blow drying my hair, I'll spray this all over and then go in part by part, piece by piece, you know, straightening my hair. But my camera's about to die, so I will more than likely have to charge it. I have the other battery charging now. I thought it was charged, but it's not. So two dead batteries. Can't do nothing about it, but charge them. So I'll charge them up <clears throat> and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow because by the time I get some juice in either battery, I'm already be laid down in bed finished with this whole process but of course I'll show you guys what everything looks like tomorrow but that's the gist of it and these are these products in action again they're amazing and I really do love them so this one is the new one platinum X it's the deep shine lusterizer once again and then these two are the OG's so not sponsored by the way by any means this is just what my stylist used on me what I find that worked and ever since then it's been my go-to and the only things that I use so there's that on that and I'm gonna finish out with the rest of this hair but I have to get my blow dryer so morning welcome back to another day uh, today it is pretty shitty outside to say the least it's storming it's raining Ugh, it's just nasty but this is my hair from yesterday of me straightening it I had it in like a bonnet last night so like the little front pieces up here are slightly not crinkled but it could use a little straighten right there um, but other than that, I think it's straightened very beautifully. Love it, love it, love it. It just feels so healthy. Um, currently, I'm just relaxing. Literally relaxing today. Nothing else. I'm watching a little YouTube. I'm watching Aaliyah. She has like hour-long vlogs. So I'm watching those. At the same time, doing a little bit of online shopping. Um, which, I mean... I love and hate. I love to shop online for like makeup and stuff, but when it comes to clothes, I can't do it. It's like really hard to like buy clothes for myself online because I want to know that they fit before I buy them. I don't want to go through the whole process of buying it and having to return it. It's just a hassle in my opinion. So, um, but I'm shopping for makeup to say the least. Um, we can't detect your remote. Okay. No, I don't want that. The fire stick updated and it has like this new look to it. I love the fire stick. Love the new look. But I don't really know how to operate like outside of um the basic stuff, like the profiles. Oh, here we go. Bam. <sighs> okay. So, let me show you guys what I'm looking at. Sephora, of course, they have their sell going on um 20 percent off for rogue 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 rouge members however you say that word um so fenty dropped their blurring skin tint 
which I'm very, very interested in trying. So I'm trying to figure out what shade to order. Um, I think I'm between two different ones, 12 and 13. And although 13 is like down a shade, I feel like 12 is a little darker than 13, if that makes sense. So I don't know. Let me see. Let me show you guys. So this is what I'm looking at. So this is shade 12. Uh, yes, 12. So, you know, this is a closer look and then they have like the actual shade right here. This is 12. And then if you come to this one where the shades are on the arms, 12 looks a little deeper than 13. So 12 and 13. And I think I'm going to go with 12 just to be safe. So yeah, I don't know what else I'll pick up, but... For sure definitely gonna get this foundation or skin tint as it's called uh, because i really want to test that out and try that out for you guys i don't remember the last time i did a foundation review wear test for you like strictly just the foundation and not a whole tutorial um but definitely one coming soon with this once i receive it it's just a matter of shipping but outside of that i don't know if there's anything else that i really really want right now um, the cool thing is, is that I can use the 20% off for this, but I can also use it, um, you know, within the date range that they give. You can use it multiple times. It's not just once. It's not just me. It's for anyone who has a Sephora account. Obviously, depending on what level you guys are at is what your discount is based off of, whether it's 10% or whatever. Um, but you can use it multiple times, which is great. So I don't have to rush and buy everything all at once, but definitely going to get the skin tint don't know if I'm gonna get anything else but we shall see uh, we shall see I haven't really gone makeup makeup shopping in quite some time but like I said today is pretty chill don't really have much to do on our agenda um, I was like I said gonna get a car wash and all that but again it's raining it's storming it's shitty outside so that's a no-go for today hopefully tomorrow I can do that because I definitely need to at least at the very minimum vacuum the inside of my car but no errands today or anything maybe later we'll do like a facial or something at home of course facial i'm not gonna schedule anything but i am gonna treat myself with some seafood because i've been craving some really good seafood and there's this one spot that i love to go to so definitely gonna treat myself to some seafood today because i have a long week ahead of me Oh, also, I wanted to kind of clarify that um, my vlogs like this, like this dose of essence, which is a little piece of me. I didn't really give much of an introduction to like my new series as far as like verbally. I did put it in the description box on my first dose of essence episode. So if you haven't seen that and you're watching this, girl, you're behind. You need to go back and watch the other one, but definitely check out the description box. Um, I kind of tell you guys what this means for me and what this is for me. It's just a little piece of me, a little piece of my life outside of me sitting down and doing those really structured like videos that I do as far as makeup and things of that nature. We'll still do a little makeup here and there and stuff like that because it is still part of like my everyday life, but it's not all makeup. You know, you guys get a little bit of everything else, you know, my day-to-day -day life, maybe not so much day-to-day. I kind of want to keep it to the weekends unless I'm doing anything like interesting throughout the week but for the most part it's just going to consist of my weekends so Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, and things of that nature and just kind of share with you guys a little bit more outside of again structured videos who I am as a person and hopefully you guys will get to see a little bit more of my personality as time goes on. I'm still a little new to this vlogging thing even though I have like plenty of vlogs on my channel it's still a little new to me because I haven't done it so consistently like I have like my other videos and things of that nature and it's just something I gotta get used to essentially um, and just get comfortable with and over time I'm sure you guys are gonna see there's gonna be a big change not within myself but just how I am on camera and just you know being more comfortable you guys are gonna be able to see that comfortability Comfort comfortability hopefully that was a word but nonetheless you guys will get to see more and more of who I am as a person outside of structured videos which is the goal 
because I want to connect with you guys, of course, on a deeper level. Not putting all my business out there, obviously, but um, still being able to share a piece of me with you guys, if any of that makes sense. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy these. Hopefully, they'll get more fun and entertaining as time goes on. But right now, I'm just literally not doing anything today. So, chilling, taking the day for me, and just relaxing because stormy weather just... For some people it's peaceful and it is semi peaceful but it also makes me a little sleepy and lazy at the same time too because i'm feeling really tired but i'm not gonna go to sleep i'm just gonna relax shop do me you know that kind of day um and just you know take it one step at a time all right you guys i am on my way to the grocery store i need to get some creamer for my coffee didn't get coffee this morning because i had no creamer um some cereal and I am also going to be picking up some wine because today is a self-care day so why not get some wine to go along with you know the aesthetic of the day it finally stopped pouring raining um, it's not thunderstorming anymore thank God I don't mind the rain necessarily I don't like to drive in rain but I don't mind you know that it rains it's very calming in a sense but I don't like when it storms and that's what it was doing it was it was storming but it clearly has stopped so um, I'm gonna go get me some wine because I've been out of it for like the past three four days and I really wanted some the other day and since today like I said is a self-care day why not indulge in some wine so we're gonna go pick some of that up um, preferably Stella Rosa that's my favorite wine to drink these days um, so gonna go somewhere where I know they have that um, and, and get that one and my dad put me on to the Stella Rosa black he likes to mix it with Hennessy but we ain't doing all that um, but I do like to drink it by itself I like the red I like the blueberry and for me those three are like my top like three choices when it comes to that specific brand of wine um, I like mine to be sweet not overly sweet but you know I like a nice sweet red wine um, to drink and I don't like anything like tart or bitter but can't do it okay so that's what we're doing now and um, by the time I get back to the house the seafood should be there so I'm gonna eat that and I'll pour me a glass of wine maybe like a little later on when I actually start like the skincare portion of my day and stuff and just like winding down. That's probably when I'll have my glass of wine, but at least I'll have it there, you know? But it's just very like, ugh, today. I just, I feel very low energy. My spirits aren't low. It's just my energy level is low. But I'm really happy and, you know, loving life and I'm loving this new haircut like for some reason I just really prefer my hair short I don't know let me know what you guys think uh, if you like it or not but I love my hair short personally nowadays when I was younger or not too young because I'm not that old either but um, I definitely preferred preferred my hair to be uh, longer now it's like okay I want it to grow but at the same time I kind of feel like it just looks more mature I feel more mature and feel more of like a grown-up when my hair is shorter it's just me it's just how I'm feeling right now so short it is all right guys so I secured the bag and this guy is looking at me all weird but anyway I got the Stella Rosa I got the red because they didn't have the black unfortunately but Nonetheless, we got us some wine. I also got a couple of other goodies and snacks in here. Um, they had these little bites in vanilla, which is limited edition, but we're gonna try it out, see how it tastes, and I will definitely let you guys know. Hmm, I'm so exhausted. I've been laying down when I shouldn't have. I need to be taking my bath, getting some me time in. Um, yeah. I bought wine as you guys seen earlier and I want a glass of wine. It sounds very relaxing but I'm so freaking exhausted and lazy that 
I'm really pushing myself to do it right now. All right, so I want to take a nice relaxing bath, but I need to put my bonnet back on because I don't want to wet my hair, obviously. I mean, not like I'm gonna dip my head in the tub, but just to make sure it's out the way and you know I can wash my body without worrying about my hair getting wet. You guys get it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um. Oh, you know where it's at? I know where it's at. I'm looking for like my little headband thing. That. So here. This. So this is like my little band that I'm gonna use to kind of like hold my edges back, if you will. And then I'm gonna put my bonnet on. I guess I can wear this one. That's like the Cantu bonnet that they're selling now at like Target. I don't know if Walmart has it. But that's that. What is this? Um, oh, I don't need that. So let's go ahead and use these. Put these on our face. On our face. Wow, I'm tired. <laughs> Put it on our head. I gotta make sure I'm getting to bed at a decent time tonight. Because staying up late is really killing me. I have like zero energy and I didn't even have any coffee this morning. I mean, sometimes I feel like coffee doesn't really do anything for me, but I think it would have definitely helped in today's case because I'm super exhausted. Oh, okay. I fell asleep not too long ago watching TV. Um, and yeah, I just, I need to get up. If I sleep too long, then I'm definitely not going to be able to sleep later. So, I'm going to make sure this is put in, up. Look a little crazy, but it's all good. I'm going to do a mask as well. Because I'm going to use my um, steamer. And for steamer, I have... Let's go ahead and grab it now. Ooh, I can use these eye gels. Under eye patches. Oh yeah, we about to have a real spa moment. Um, I have these ones from Skin Iceland. Should I use these? These are the, um, which ones are these? Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. So there's these ones and they have another one with like little micro needles in it. Um, I'm going to use either that or do the Patchology mood patch this is the chill mode i think i'm gonna do these ones uh this has soothing cannabis seed oil infused eye gels um this is like 10 minutes on the eyes so this is what this one looks like maybe i'll do that one i need to do a detox mask for sure i haven't masked in a long well not that long last time i masked i used i think i want to say like a tula mask it was one more so for like hydration but it broke me out so mm, that was a no-go for me um this is my steamer i keep it in the box but this is from vanity planet and yeah so definitely gonna be steaming my face so i'm gonna pull that out keep this under eye patch situation out um what else we need to wash our face Normally I would use my Fenty skin at night, um, but to be honest with you guys, I didn't do my morning skincare, which is bad on my part, but I'm going to use this cleanser right here from Inky List. This is the Sicilic Acid Cleanser, so this is what this one looks like. There you go. So we're going to use that to wash our face. Um... Yeah, and then for my bath, I'm going to put some um, some of this. This is the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. So this one is Shea Butter and Almond Oil. This is my favorite one to use. Smells good, feels good, feels so luxurious on the skin. Love it. 10 out of 10. And I think that's it, you guys. So yeah, um, I am going to be doing all this off camera because it's a lot of energy that it takes to capture these things on film and on top of actually doing them and i'm already feeling semi-lazy but 
at some point or another I will have I feel like there's something in my peripheral or something okay at some point I will have a like pamper routine pamper day situation going on I'll have something like that uh, as far as like content um, for you guys to see so you guys can kind of see how I pamper myself this is like a mini pamper series if you will I'm not doing the whole nine because I don't need to do everything but in due time you guys in due time hey guys it is Sunday so happy Sunday I am out running errands this morning I did a video for you guys uh, for like my main videos like a sit down get ready with me situation well it wasn't a get ready with me actually it was just me using products that I had in my collection um, that are new to me hopefully you guys can see me because I feel like it looks a little dark but I really hope you guys can see me I am about to get my car washed I need it done so bad it's not even funny um, definitely the inside so I'm in line for the car wash right now and then I have to go to Target I want to get some food items and I also want to get a lunch box so we're gonna be doing that today and then when we get back to the house I don't know what I'm gonna do cuz it's already what two something I definitely got a late or a later start than I anticipated this morning but nonetheless we're getting things done so yeah I'm gonna go through the car wash right now this line is super long who knew so many people uh, had to wash their car on Sunday um, I guess everybody is last minute like little old me so uh, let me see what they have to offer cuz I've never been here before So it's hot first of all it's just so hot it's not even funny how hot it is car is washed cleaned oh now I can spray some of this my sister actually gave me this this is a scent bomb air freshener but you just spray it this one is in Hawaii Hawaiian blue I wouldn't say it's my favorite but it smells better than anything spray that so my car can smell all nice and we're gonna head over to McDonald's which is literally right next door because I'm hungry I didn't eat anything all morning I meant to eat cereal this morning and sometimes I just get so busy that I forget to eat so um, yeah we're definitely gonna order us some McDonald's because I'm hungry get my glasses because it's sunny out Let's call day. 